OK。Welcome to another day. Um, Megan is super excited. Megan did find something pretty awesome today. A 15 gallon crock. 15 gallon crock. What a crock. Missing the lid, but those are actually, we can make one of those. Mike's gonna make me one. This is my dream for our kitchen. Is that under, we're gonna do an island that's just like a tall table. And underneath I will have the, several of these with things that we would cook with. So I would fill this up with flour. Uh huh. And then Michael will, will make me a little wood lid that I can pull off and it's all just right there. So it's like a beautiful but working kitchen. Right. So this was a good find. Yep. Pretty sweet. They're usually... Those are... Uh, maybe a thousand dollars. Didn't you seem for like eight hundred dollars or something like that? on sale for eight fifty. Wow. Okay. We gotta load it up now. Ooh. Ooh. That is heavy. secure back there um i think so it'll lean against it'll click against the window does that bother you should we yeah. put it in the back seat with the seat belt maybe i should lay it down in the back seat now the reason we came here not wasn't just for fun just for pleasure but also for business we have uh, another child coming home elijah's coming home from his mission in a few weeks and needs a place to rest his head so, oh, cute. Precious cargo. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> um, and so we are gonna be turning our little den into a bedroom. And then we gotta do like the bedroom shuffle. The bedroom shuffle. Which Seems means, like that's mm -hmm. not a constant, but it does happen pretty often. I mean, yeah, a lot of kids, you gotta do that. Oops. His needs are changing. And so we're gonna take Andrew, pluck Andrew from his bedroom, put him downstairs with Elijah. Then we're going to pluck Eve from her bedroom and put her in with Jude, and we're gonna like do one of those bunk bedroom divider kind of ideas. Mm. And then, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, stay tuned. Not it's today, so but it amazing. will be fun. And then we're gonna, then Pearl and Esther will have their own room, and we were gonna build this like triple bunk system, but we won't need to do that anymore, because like, I realized, like, wait, 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 I was gonna put Elijah alone downstairs. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't should, make any sense. We can do all this shuffling. So first thing on the menu is to find that room is a den. So it doesn't have a clothing closet. But no need to fear. There's all sorts of alternatives. So we're going to find just a closet or a wardrobe. Well, um, there is actually we found one in there. One here. I've got to take some measurements, but it's a very interesting piece. It could, it could work. Someone's, and it's cheaper than building one. Yeah, and it's solid wood. Like Someone's grandpa built that and Weighs spared like 500 pounds. no expense. There's solid wood and every piece of it everywhere. Yeah. Um, and it looked like it used to be painted and somebody scraped, scraped all the paint off. Anyways, we don't need all the details. Anyways, anyways, detail. anyways, 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 anyways. We went back and got this wardrobe that- Look at how much wood this person used. Yeah, this is this is pretty amazing, but I've also- never seen anybody build Very that. heavy. It's almost like they're like, how can I use as much wood as possible? If I would have had a camera crew, it would have been cool to show us trying to get this in the van because it was kind of an interesting Andrew process. Said, but Andrew said it was like giving birth in reverse. I've never See really... how this thing is fitting in here? It barely got in. It's good because it's solid, but it's also annoying because it's solid. All right, well, what let's just... Do to it? We'll get it out. We're going to put it in the garage. Megan's trying to decide if she wants to paint it or if she wants to do something else. This is the room that's got to be adjusted. I think it should stay in the van for a little bit. So we empty this room and then we Don't can just bring it. Back there. He's had a rough life, guys. <laughs> this cat is so just much is asked of him. Really, really difficult <laughs> living. <laughs> is he like totally like wrapped around? He's like, he is. He's like twisted. What are you doing? He doesn't care. What are you doing? He likes laying on the table. Before you do anything, I will work with the kids to get this room ready okay. for the boys.
back to this project. Now they're gonna take it and just put it in place. Thank goodness for men, huh? Do you want um, the dolly to roll it up to the house on, or? It's so heavy. Do you need my help on one of the corners? Oh. Here, let's lower it down. Okay, now it up. Up we go. Woo! All right, down. Right here. So, I think, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean it in my direction and um, probably well, let's Should see what we, we can do. Okay. Do you are you how do you need some more people on this? No, so now you two pick up that side. You two you take a side. Can you get underneath it? What do you want to go all the way down? Woo. Huh? You want me to get on the bottom? Well, whatever is easiest. What's easiest for you? Right here's easiest. On the bottom for me. What do you, well, we can't, we can't have be different can sides, actually. Well, I'm like not doing anything. <coughs> okay. Here, can we set it down real quick? Wait, wait, okay. Well, actually, it might be easier without you. Come in the door. <coughs> Andrew, is that a good idea what you're doing? Slide it? I don't think we can get it through. Yeah, well, you can't slide it sitting, standing up. Why not? It's way too tall. You don't think it can fit through the door? No. Can we measure it to make sure? Okay. We didn't take into consideration the height of this and this doorway. Right here. Um, and so this is going to be really heavy, but we need to shimmy it out of the way. What we want to do, bring it down this way. See if we can get it in here and then get it up on this. Wait, is this wide enough? Wide yes, enough. that's yeah. wide enough. It's gonna have to go up, off the ground, and then down. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's that measuring tape? Might not fit in there, huh? It's not going to. It's not gonna fit in there. No, I can't set up in here. Yeah, we've got a piece of furniture we can't get from wherever we want it. So it couldn't, like... No, there's no way. It won't fit around that corner. Um... Oh my goodness. Well, what we could do is give them this closet and move the food storage into this. But where's this gonna go? And it's huge. There's no other way to get it in no, there, huh? No, I assumed incorrectly that this was tall enough that we could just shimmy it in on this bottom over here, but that's where we... And there's no way we could, like, back right no, here. It won't. Like, no, I will not go around this corner. Oh, that's stupid. That work? That's the first time that's happened to us. Well, it didn't happen to me when I was, when I built this shelf, but I was able to oh. take it apart. Can't take this apart? Um, no, no. Can't take this it apart. is so heavy duty. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's the next day. And um, trying to <laughs> sell that cabinet for just what I got it for. Just, it's so huge. I love it. It's an amazing piece of pine furniture. I have nowhere for it, you guys. Nowhere, even in the next house. And so um, hopefully I can get that sold quickly because I just don't have space for it. But now we're at another store looking for, because we still need a closet for these boys. And so we're going to look at another thrift store and see if we can pull something together. Well, Megan, we got through that. Squat. There was nothing. What are we going to do? Somebody what are we going like, to do, just Megan? Get a dresser and like put some pipes in it. And like build a little hanging thing, so it's just like in the open. <laughs> That's true. Coming out of the top. Let's keep it simple, man. So we've moved forward 
a little bit here. We didn't, I think we already showed that we didn't find anything at the thrift store. So plan B is to see if we can figure out a way to build it ourselves. And so we're at the, we're at Home Depot right now looking at their um, stuff to see if there's a way to put this together on our own. Jude's coming along. Um, <clears throat> so we've got, it's the question of whether we're gonna build it with plywood or possibly tongue and groove. Although I think that's too expensive. So it's probably gonna be plywood with some trim put on it. So, so what are our thoughts I here? I think well, what we'll do is build a really basic, we'll build a really basic box with a door and a pole inside with plywood. Yeah. And then we'll clad it with this beadboard. Make it look. And then paint different. it. We just had dinner and we then have been researching throughout since we got back and throughout, throughout dinner the and after internet. dinner about how we can do this cabinet and the cost and that if you were to it's just, anyways it's just, you, just came you know, to the what, place where it's like you know what here we go here it is the let's just go time. down to ikea what ikea get one of their very no. very basic wardrobes that how are like, could you Stop. you have you have you sold your soul to ikea yeah that are super flat and then you got to eat your words i swore off ikea like did two i days swear ago, off, remember I that? Did? no and but. then get the beadboard paneling, which is super cheap, and put it on that cabinet and then paint it. And so then you get something that looks great. It looks oh. great. <laughs> Mike and I got back. It's very echoey in here. And we needed a little bit of time to decompress. But I am now anxious, Andrew and I were talking, he was telling me what he wants for the room. He wants a very like 1800s, like professory vibe, you know, naturalist. There's the things, we might use this green mirror that I redid by putting all of the, I like put the clay on and painted and all of that. We've got some art from the thrift store. But tonight we're just gonna put up the curtains because I've decided to put their beds in front of the window. And so what I'm gonna do is do a curtain panel and curtain panel that will go behind the headboard to like make it look okay. Okay, here's the current status of the room. We brought this bed over. We have to grab the other one still. We just wanted to see how this one fits. Um, this is the cabinet from Ikea, but there's been a new development. So yesterday I saw the most amazing French armoire um, on Facebook Marketplace. And if it is what I think it is, we're gonna go look at it this morning and probably buy it. But if it is what I think it is, it actually comes apart into sections. I think that's called shrunk. It's like a German term. 
And then we could bring it in here and use it right here as the boys closet. And then we could take these things back to Ikea. So we're gonna go drop off the other closet that we, that we bought because somebody purchased that from us, thank you. Um, and then drive and look at this one. The difference being this one might be able to come apart and that it's an incredible, beautiful French one with like that I dream of having in my next house and I know just where it would go. We just dropped off the cabinet to the nicest dad. Now we're gonna go look at this other cabinet. Now you might say, but it, it's almost the same size as that one. I don't think it's as heavy, but it is a different style. So first of all, we're hoping from the research we've done that it actually comes apart because that thing was built by hand. I think probably like in somebody's workshop, they built it by hand, not in a factory where it comes in pieces and they assemble it like bit by bit. It was nailed together. Just nailed and glued. It wouldn't have, we would have had to destroy it to take it apart. And then in our next house, um, I wasn't really thinking about it lasting, but when it didn't fit in the room, it's like, is this worth keeping in the warehouse until then? Because of its style, it's a really cute pine, like cap closet, right? A wardrobe. Um, but I'm not taking it upstairs. It's so heavy. I don't need it upstairs because everybody has closets and it doesn't work in any of the rooms downstairs because it's more of a, um, a little bit more relaxed look because the only room it probably would have worked in would be um, the library, but it didn't work in there. Now this one we're going to pick up right now. I know this is a lot of information, but I know people will be like, I don't understand why you would get rid of one cabinet and then get another one the same size. This one hopefully comes apart, but if it doesn't, it's a beautiful French armoire and it would work with the style of the library because I want the library to be formal and I have a spot for it. When, I, when a pine cabinet would like that wouldn't have, it just didn't, wouldn't have worked. I really, I want a very specific old library feel. Two, I hope it's an antique, but I have my doubts. It's probably a reproduction, which is still very valuable um, because it's a beautiful piece. But obviously if it were an antique, it's just funner for me because of the story and you know, I like having antiques. It's definitely this woman that we're going to buy it for him, she bought it 30 years ago and believed it to be old. She bought it in an antique shop. But there are a lot of reproductions out there made to look old, which is fine. They're beautiful. I would be fine with owning those. I couldn't even afford those. They're like 10 grand. But um, we'll, we'll see when we get there. And I don't even know if I'm trained or skilled enough to know. But there to are a few. The yeah, to be able to see the difference. There are a few things I could look at um, to guess. And the reason I'm guessing it is a reproduction is because I found one almost identical except for the like flower work at the top um, but everything else is identical sold for I think eight eight nine thousand dollars but it was made in Indonesia and it's a reproduction what's good about that man I am talking a lot about this but what's good about that is that Indonesian reproduction is made to come apart to move easily which would be a dream because then we could take the Ikea thing back and have this be in the boys room and then use it also in the next house. Mm -hmm. Okay, I told Mike this is like showing up for a blind date where they look really hot in their photos and their profile. I've Not never a done blind this, date. But... A blind date is when you haven't seen them at all. But okay, we meet them online, online, they seem date. amazing, but here's the moment of truth. Like, and then you're like, okay, yeah, there was definitely some filters on that photo. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Megan, nice to meet you. Beautiful. Yes. She thinks everybody's here to see her. <laughs> she just don't quite get it. What do you think so far, Megan? Can't tell so far. So. There's a big spider in there, I think. I can't see it, but it looks like... Oh, it's alive! <laughs> yeah, that's a big spider, all right. <laughs> it's really big. <laughs> this looks just like that one where you take the doors off. This comes off, they said. Oh, my. We're not going to do it right now. Oh, yeah, obviously. We don't have any tools with this, but I don't see... Look, I think it, like, lifts... Does it, does it like, slide on there? Like, does it kind of, like... It's in. I don't charge extra for old spiders. <laughs> That's good.
There's old spiders on every piece of furniture. So we're gonna take this on home. I really do believe it comes apart. Whether it's from Indonesia or an antique, a lot of antiques came apart too because they needed to move them, you know, and take them with them as they traveled. So um, let's hope we can get that figured out. I do actually think it's a reproduction though, not an actual French antique. Yeah, I'm convinced this is a reproduction, but it's a beautiful one. I did a little cleaning of this door and now I'm using some feed and wax. The boys are now moving this inside. I've taken off the little top crest and we're gonna move it into the entryway because I'm determined that we will get this apart. And also Megan it looks is, amazing. Megan's totally determined. Now that it's wait, 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 oh yeah. So we're gonna have to take it apart to fit it through? Yeah. No, we get it in there and drug. I forgot again to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, you get the door? Yes, sir. Yes. Wow. It's got a cool side to it. Too. I know, everything's pretty right. Have a Beautiful. We just got in here and the kids are like, Mom, that's taller than the other one. It's yeah. not going to fit. <laughs> You're like, obviously you haven't learned your lesson. Mike just took this medallion off. I have oiled the entire outside or, or conditioned it, not oiled it, but same thing, I guess. It's now, enormous. Now we got to see if we can tear this thing apart. Yeah. As soon as Mike, we put this here, Albus jumped from... Up there onto the top. Cause kitties, kitties like to be up high. Oh my goodness. You love it up there, Elvis? What are you about to do? Um, there's pocket hole, there's screws in here. They're flathead screws. They won't, I can't get them to back out cause either they are, they strip because it's a stupid flathead screw, which I, is like the worst thing ever. Or that one spins, but it just stays in place. So I told Mike. So we're gonna cut it. Yes. Cut those three screws. I told him his mission, should he choose to accept it, which like, he has, I guess was he, to get this thing apart. It's like we're getting this apart at all costs. Yeah. And, um, yes. Let's see what Albus yes. thinks about it when you start using that. Yeah, the kitty is very interested in this process. Calcifer likes to be there when we cook. Albus likes to be there when we're doing projects. So what we've discovered, a theory, a working theory, is that if we just get the top off, it's actually short enough to be able to push in. So uh, then we don't have to touch any other part of it, which is awesome, and we think we can get this off. Mike's just cutting all of the nails that are connecting the top. But we also need to take this piece off. Remember guys, this is not an antique. <laughs> this is not a priceless Steinway. But that's a priceless Steinway. Not anymore. Yeah. This is our biggest clue that it's not an antique. That's not how they would have done it. Go back here with it. Straight down. Woohoo! Mm. Uh, let's just... Mm -hmm. Now, if we just take off this piece, we believe it will slide in. There she is. No top. Now. Now, in theory, we should just be able to slide this Now, in. we're going to see if this actually works. <laughs> and we're going to see if this. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Barely. Woo. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, now we gotta get it back together. Yay! 
you might be asking why we didn't do this with the other cabinet. If you were to go back and look, the other cabinet was shaped in a way, this had sections. This is a piece, that is a piece. And so we were able to disassemble that. The other one, we would have had to just sawn right through and you would have ever, I mean, it just wasn't possible. It wasn't built this way, so. And you know what? It ended up working out better because this well, is even better. And you actually like this better. Yeah, so. that's what I mean. So it's even better. Mike is putting in the- Putting it back together, folks. The, this piece of wood that's gonna help hold it back together. Okay, it's kind of dark because it's nighttime, but look at this. The difference some oil makes on this thing. Thirsty wood. So I think I already said it, but I did get it confirmed on my like furniture identification group that this is a reproduction. So, mm. which actually is better for us because we're adding the pole inside and like. I yeah. Don't know, well, like, obviously we also completely tore it apart up there. Yeah. It's back together now. Which but it'd be horrifying if this was, you know, two to 300 years old sort of thing, or even hundred <laughs> years old, but um, it's probably 30 to 40 years old. And yeah. it, it's not from France. It's still a great solid piece of furniture. And I'm really happy and it was still an amazing price, but hey, bars in. Looky there. Okay, this morning, I, I went by the thrift store and I found this. It fits between the two beds and it gives them more clothing storage. So I picked it up. I'm gonna paint it with some leftover paint I've mixed together, this color and a little some more blue and it'll go really fast. That's enough. I'm using this DIY, it's actually a clay-based paint. It's a lot like chalk paint, but even thicker and it dries really fast. Um, drying really fast is fun, but what it means is that it's gonna be really, have a lot of texture, you're gonna see the brush strokes, so it's not necessarily gonna be really smooth. But for this, you know, in a room where there's a lot of antiques, I didn't mind that. Um, the, Chalk paint, I mean, this DIY paint can do some really cool things and a solid color on a dresser is not one of them, but I had it, it's almost gone and it was the right color, so. Another thing is this paint could have gone on this top, but um, even like a plastic top it can go on. But I figured I, this is so, this is finished to be so waterproof. I figured the boys are probably gonna put water glasses on it and things and would just make it easy on myself and leave it as is. Um, it's in perfect condition, so I did that. But uh, So if you're gonna paint a piece, keep that in mind. You can refinish it to be waterproof. It's just a lot of trouble. So um, you can always leave the top and thankfully that's in style these days. Okay, the dresser is done since I showered just to put paint clothes back on. But the next thing I need to address is shelving. Andrew has a big collection of books and Elijah has little knickknacks. And so I have to figure out how we're gonna put those. I have these two cool like homemade shelving units that I got at the thrift store. And there's a matching one upstairs. I don't want to leave them as is. I don't think they would work in here like that, but I thought I could put one here and one there. I just need to decide what color. Look how dirty my camera is. I could stain them darker to bring that over there. I could do it more like that. I could do them black. I don't think they'd look good white. That would make them too modern looking for this room. Um, or I could stain them kind of a more like this color right there, that lighter gray color. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. I wish that you were all here with me and you could help me make that decision. But since you cannot, I will make it on my own. I did a little test spot with the stain and realized that these have like some sort of coating on them, including like where the glue is and that trying to get that off of all the nooks and crannies is never going to happen. And so instead I'm going to spray paint them and, um, 
yeah, go, we'll see how well that works. About to paint these with a uh, nutmeg, it's just like a medium taupey brown. And lest you think it's sad, there's a lot of, you know, stains and things. They're not in amazing condition. So something needed to be done, but can you imagine sanding those? Oh boy, that'd be awful. Andrew kind of requested like a English country, but masculine bedroom. So I thought painted was better. I, and I, I do agree, they're pretty close in color, but painted makes them look a little bit more, you know, English country, a little older. And then I also went ahead, I had this old shelf that I got at the thrift store for like $6 in the wood section. Snagged it months ago, just cause I knew it was a big shelf. And I'm gonna put this above Andrew's desk. Doing one of the final touches there. Mm -hmm. Getting real close on this one. This project took longer than I expected. I know, I really, in my mind, thought it would be a day. It's been like four days, I think, so. But we didn't give all the days to it, and we had like, I don't know, other things to do, so it's uh -huh. cumulatively a day. Right, okay. But we're not gonna show you tonight, even though I think that was it. <sighs> oh no, had they already seen too Just much? Just because I'd like to show it in the daytime. Yeah, daytime? it'll look better. Yeah. So. Okay, we'll check back in tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. And we're I think ready for the we're tour. ready to do the official tour. It's not really a tour. Hope you're not watching too Unveiling. many like HGTV type videos because this isn't going to quite is line up with that. <laughs> but it is a fun example of turning a den or an office into a bedroom and how you can do that on a fairly cheap budget. I'll show Super you fun. the things I spent money on. Okay, here we go. Come on in. So there are a few things we haven't finished. Like we do need to put something in the door. Oh, cover video. the glass. Yeah. Because as you can see, when you close the door, there's not a ton of privacy in there. <laughs> we'll fix but, that. Um, yeah, I mean, the main thing in turning a den or an office space like this into a bedroom is the closet. Okay. And so it is the biggest expense we had. I, got, I paid $250 for it. But literally, these sorts of things are all over Facebook. I saw some, you know, another one for clothes, another wardrobe for free today. Mm -hmm. Now, this one I wanted specifically for the French style, but you know, you can paint things and make things cute. So, do we do anything special on the inside? No, we added we added a um, we added a, the bar. a bar. Andrew's already throwing. It's kind of a mess. Here, but let's keep it closed and act like it's not a mess. And we already had the beds, which probably most of you do too, or whatever. You can pick those up. I also purchased this. These beds were Facebook Marketplace, so once upon a time. Another thing I bought was this dresser. I paid 75 for it, which usually for a nightstand, I wouldn't pay that much, but this is a chest of drawers. And since we don't have a closet, we need as much storage as possible and not just, it needs to double duty, not right. just a nightstand. But we already had these shelves and you saw I spray painted them. I think the color ended up being cute. Yeah, I think they, they work really well. Um, the last thing I bought for the room was these. I wanted some sort of plaid warm. The, you're talking about these little blanky things. Yeah, I wanted a plaid warm kind of masculine blanket, in a, but they're all so expensive. And so these are actually blanket scarves and they were $8.99 on Amazon. That's awesome. But they bring the color in and the warmth and just, you could drape them on the end of the bed. They work that way, like if you need something to throw on a bed, think about a blanket scarf because for that price, you can't beat it. It's super soft, and but I ended up thinking they looked cutest right here just to bring in some color and some softness. Like I said, this came off the side of the road. Yeah, did we actually show that? I don't think we showed much of that actually. Yeah, this came off the side Megan of the road. Megan found this on a walk. It was just on the side of the road, just someone was throwing it away. Um, it had a little a little lampshade on Very it. Very feminine lampshade. Took that off. You got this at the thrift store. For three dollars. And it looks like a little lamp. It's post. a cute little a little lamp post. Just sits on the floor. Uh, that was Megan texted me while she's on her walk and said, "Come get this." Yeah. So I had to race over in the van and grab it. So we already had art. Just brought it in here. Andrew mm. wanted a very like kind of busy look. To look like an old professor like we said and uh -huh. we had this shelf i just painted it the same color with the leftover paint that i i used leftover paint and i had still had some more and i threw it on here it's blue if you can't tell that yeah it's like it's a, a little dark. this is this room is kind of dark we've realized 
And we um, may upgrade to a ceiling fan because, you know, this, they may need it. But yeah. for now, this is, this works. We, this had Andrew's desk already. It's not a huge room, but the kids love it. Um, I've been wanting to use this copper fish forever that I oh, got yeah. in the antique small. That and was sort of the finishing touch. We did that the other, on that yeah. night. Yeah, and so we just put it on the middle post, middle whatever of the curtains. But I like it because everything was so dark, and there's lots of wood over here. And then you would look over there, and it was just blue and white. And I feel like that brings kind of the colors of the wood up there, and just kind of completes the whole thing. And I think it's super cute. Um, so in a perfect world, I will find. A rug for here or here mm. uh, just to add a little bit more comfort and quiet in their bedroom yeah but i'm really happy with it i think we had andrew's book antique book collection that he bought of the harvard classics and then i pulled in some of my books and some of my things i'm sure when elijah gets home we'll take out some of my little filler items <laughs> and um, he can put some of his things on those shelves but i think that looks great and was able to use some of the art that I had just like in the closet that I love. I love this one. It's a boat art. Yeah, so. Yeah, all in all, it looks pretty good. I think also it's kitty approved. He loves it in here already. Casper likes it. It's quiet in here. Kitty, meow. Hi. <laughs> it's like, don't bother me. So that is the, I guess, transformation of the, this is technically like a study, right, mm -hmm. for this house. Into the kids all commented that it looks way bigger because it just had like, it was like a game room and the piano was in here and um it was kind of messy now not that it won't be messy once it's the boys anymore. are actually living in here mm -hmm. but well for now, Elijah we and pretend. jude are now in here so that we can make jude's room more ready and then the girls room so we have kind of we're kind of working through the rooms mm -hmm. uh but thanks for coming along that was a long that was a long one that was many many days good job actually. for hanging in there and many iterations to finally get to this thing we actually this was our fourth was it this is our plan d so that delicious, was fun delicious <laughs> delightful <laughs> turned out to be the the best uh the best option so thanks for coming along uh like comment subscribe share if you want to this is this is a video that might be helpful to other people this is if they're trying to make changes to a bedroom in their house or a room in their house and Turn we'll, an office into a bedroom. Right. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.